and welcome back to the new york jets franchise rebuild here today will be the afc championship game welcome back to the channel everyone i hope you're all having a great day please leave a like comment down below if you thought of today's action don't forget to subscribe as we will be having a rematch here in the afc championship game of if right around in mid-season let's go quickly check around or check uh when we played against this cleveland team because i don't actually remember um as we can see here all the way back in week 13 we played against this cleveland team and we lost 38 to 14. so this is a rematch game for the new york jets a game where passing we couldn't do anything defensively we couldn't do anything Overall, we allowed Baker Mayfield to complete 27 of 29 for over 300 yards and two touchdowns, and Stephen James threw his four interceptions. Hopefully, today is different. Let's go quickly check out this uh, Browns roster one more time, and then let's get into today's action. Taking a quick look at this Cleveland team, they have five players in the 99 club, which is really going to be helping their team out. But they're led by Baker Mayfield as their starting quarterback. We know he's very good. They have a great running back duo. But Tyler Boyd is going to be out. I also saw that uh, Ward will also be out too. So we're going to see these their depth of this offense to see if they can continue to produce. We know what this team wants to do. They want to throw the football, do play action, and then take their deep shots down the field when necessary. They have a very good defense. They have a defense that can force turnovers and get sacks. We'll see how we'll play here today. This should be a very exciting AFC Championship game. And welcome to East Rutherford, New Jersey. Here in the AFC Championship game, it will be the New York Jets versus the Cleveland Browns here today. One of these two teams will be going to the Super Bowl. Will it be the New York Jets? A Jets team that has been very inconsistent throughout this year, but who has been able to put together a great winning total, as well as getting their offense and getting their team to the number one seed. Or will it be the Cleveland Browns who won the AFC uh, North but overall did not have the particularly great season as the Baltimore Ravens did and some of the other teams. We'll find out here today. And leading out his offense is number six veteran quarterback, Baker Mayfield, who has thrown 38 touchdowns to six INTs, a little under 4,000 yards passing this past campaign. He's looking to get another victory, playoff victory under his pit belt. And in the first matchup playing against this Cleveland offense, Baker had a fantastic day. We'll see if he can continue to do so as he's going to go quickly over here to number 87 with the reception. But there's a penalty that was thrown and it's going to be a personal foul on uh, Aaron Donald. And because of that penalty, that gives Cleveland an automatic first down and into Jets territory. As Baker again looks to throw quickly, goes over the middle. This is Jarvis Landry, the veteran receiver who will gain the first down well one thing that we do know about this cleveland team that they can run the football they can throw the football but without tyler boyd how will that play a factor as this is the first carry here for nick chubb chubb makes a move and as he's gonna break free as he almost broke free and he's gonna gain 19 on his first touch this is a major test here for the new york jets the team uh, this browns team we have not beaten We'll see if we can do it here today as Chubb on his second carry will gain nine more. As it will be second down and two here, Mayfield will hand this ball off back to Chubb as this defense will quickly wrap him up right around the line of scrimmage. As it will be third down and one here at the nine, Mayfield under center handed this ball off to Chubb as this defense can quickly wrap him up and they do so. Where do they rule it? And they rule it fourth down and inches. A ruling in favor to the New York Jets defense. Decision time now for the Cleveland Browns. As it's fourth down and inches here at the eight and Cleveland is looking to go for it. Mayfield in the shotgun takes the snap, looks to throw. As he's going to lay the ball's gonna be on a cut, picked off. That's James Bradbury. Bradbury last week had an interception and this time he gets another one. As we see Quinton Williams is hurt on the field and now we get to see the New York Jets offense. 
And the New York Jets offense, their first time playing against this defense. Steven James had an awful day. We'll see how he'll play today as he will start with a run here with Michael Carter, who got a bulk of the carries last week versus the Buffalo Bills. Adam Wright was the other uh, ball carrier. The New York Jets offense heavily, heavily relied on their running game, and they look to do so here today. But just like last week, Quinton Williams went down with an injury early. He's going to be again out for the rest of this ball game. It's third down and one. New York will again three straight carries. This time, it's to Michael Carter, who will go off the middle for a first down. Don't forget this. Alex Morris, our starting center, is out. Jared O'Neill, the veteran center, will be stepping up in here today as the New York Jets are going to continue to run this football. J.O.K. is hurt on the field. As it will be second down and seven here. Don't forget, Cleveland does not have Denzel Ward. James will look to throw for the first time in today's action, feeling the rush as he will take his check down here to Stephen Meredith. And Meredith, his reliable target here, is able to gain 13. He somehow stayed on his feet. Third down and eight now here for the New York Jets. James takes the snap, looks to throw here. He's trying to get this ball to Hopkins. Hopkins leaps up and he reels that pass down. What a reception right there. DeAndre Hopkins, who did struggle last week, is able to bring down that pass for 17. As it will be first down and 10 here at the 34 of Cleveland. James takes the snap. He's going to go a little play action. Fake looks to throw here. He's taking take, take a deep shot here with Elijah Moore. Touchdown, New York. New York will strike early here today. First quarter of last week, no team scored. First quarter this week, the New York Jets is able to put up some points. New York offense and defense looks to be clicking right now. If you are a New York Jets fan, you got to be happy with the start. First strike for Mayfield through an interception. First strike for the New York Jets offense. They are able to put up six. As this pass will go over the middle to Dante Peoples-Jones as he will gain 27. As Mayfield is close to midfield right now, Chubb is the lone back. As they're going to go back to Nick Chubb, this defense quickly has to wrap him up and Chubb will gain a couple. So with no Quinton Williams, Trevor Hargrave again will have to step up. He did not really play that much in the regular season because our two D tackles played all of the seasons. As Mayfield looks to throw here, he felt the rush by this defense, but he will find an open receiver for a first down. Fresh set of downs here for the Cleveland Browns. Mayfield in an eye formation. And this ball off to Chubb, who tries to bounce outside, but he will have to cut it inside, and he will gain seven on this carry. Right now, the New York Jets defense has to bend but not break here. As it's second down and three, Mayfield will go back to the play action game here as he will sling this ball to number nine, Dawson, with the reception and a first down. Mayfield does have complete control of his offense, even with the turnover under his belt. Mayfield looks to throw here as he's feeling some pressure as he will go underneath here. This is a Landry, the veteran receiver will reel down that pass for nine. One quarter in the books. New York is up seven to nothing, but the Cleveland Browns are driving. Mayfield looks to throw here as he looks end zone. And this is David Nanjoku who will be able to tie up this ball game here at seven. As Cleveland was able to neutralize with another touchdown, we have a tied ball game here. New York will start at their own 25-yard line under center, handing this ball off to Michael Carter. Carter will continue to be fed this rock here as he will gain nine. It will be third down and one now for the New York Jets. Turns to an eye formation. Carter's the back. Guys, he's going to go up the middle of this defense, and he will gain the first down and more. James in the shotgun here on first down as he looks to throw here. Feeling more rushed by this interior of this defense. And that is Reese with the sack, pushing them all the way back at the 30. Loss of 10 on that play. Third down and 20. James takes the snap, looks to throw, setting up a screen here for Taylor Newberry, the rookie running back. As Newberry is able to get down the sideline, gains 15, but it will be fourth down. New York will punt. As Johnny Hacker is able to pull out, pull, push pack. Mayfield in his offense as Cleveland has to throw the quick slants here to Adante Peoples-Jones for a first down. We'll see if on this drive if Cleveland's able to take the lead. Mayfield under center. Nick Chubb the ball carrier as Chubb is able to bounce it back inside and his defense needs to wrap him up quickly. He's able to gain the first down again. New set of downs here for the Cleveland Browns. Another stretch run here by Nick Chubb. Chubb again trying to bounce it inside but thankfully this defense learned their lesson. Third down and nine here. Mayfield in the shotgun, three receiver set. Looks to throw here as he's going to go underneath here to Dawson. This defense will wrap him up and it's fourth down. As things are starting to settle in, it's starting to look like a defensive battle again here today. 
James in the shotgun here at the 39 as he's going to set up a screen here for Michael Carter. Carter is able to gain a couple here on this perception. Second down and nine here. James sticking to the shotgun as he looks to throw here. Plenty of time in the pocket as he's trying to get this ball to Elijah Moore as Moore was able to write free. And he'll be tackled at the 32. Excellent job by Elijah Moore again breaking another great reception right there. First down and 10 here at the 32, James under center. He's gonna go a little play action fake, looks to throw here, not liking anything as he will take his check down to Michael Carter. And Car Carter will be falling down for a first down. We know both teams want to run the football. That's what their strength is. We'll see if they can continue to do so. As Carter is able to be tripped up here, as Brown's defense is trying to slow that down right now. Here at the 22, James the shotgun takes a snap. Cleveland sends a blitz here. As James is looking to the back corner of the end zone. That ball is caught. No, it's incomplete. It's third down. It'll be third down and 11 here. James turns to an empty look, takes a snap, looks to throw here as he's trying to get this ball back to Elijah Moore, his reliable receiver, as he breaks a tackle here and he will be pushed out of bounds at the five. As it will be second down and goal here at the beginning of the two minute warning. James takes a snap now as Michael Carter's turn and Carter will be shoved into the end zone. Touchdown, New York. They're going to extend their lead here back by a score and New York again finds the end zone. As the Cleveland Browns will now have a two minute drill, they're down by seven. Mayfield will start this drive in the shotgun, looks to throw here. Plenty of time at the pocket, he will go underneath here to Nick Chuck, as this defense will wrap him up. Cleveland will turn to a hurry up offense and do a stretch run here, Chubb, but Ashland Davis with an excellent tackle for loss. It will be third down and three. Mayfield looks to throw here as he's turning deep down the field, Ashland Davis, he makes another great play on the ball, it's fourth down, Cleveland has to punt. A minute 14 left to go here in the first half, and this might be the opportunity that the New York Jets needs. James starts in the shotgun, looks to throw. Cleveland sends a blitz. He will get that ball out quickly to Elijah Moore, and New York will call their first time out here. As it's first down and 10 here, a minute 08 left to go. New York still has two timeouts. James to the air here as he's looking to take a deep shot here with Sean Samuel. Samuel can't bring down that pass. It's incomplete. Second down and 10. James looks to throw here. As he's looking to take another deep shot here with Hopkins. Hopkins is able to break free and reels down that pass. Sending his offense up first down and goal here at the eight. And New York has an opportunity here to make this lead by two scores. It's third down and goal here at the seven. 17 seconds to go. One timeout left for the New York Jets. James takes the snap, looks to throw here. Feeling the rush, goes underneath here to Meredith. Didn't like anything. New York. We'll wait probably until five seconds to call their last timeout, and they do so. As Justin T Tucker has a chip shot field goal attempt here. The field goal will be up, and it's good. New York will go up by 10. With the first half in the books, the New York Jets are up 17 to seven. So far doing an excellent job, throwing the football, running the football, playing good defense. We right now have the only forced turnover uh, but that's Mayfield's only incompletion. From the first half, you know, Cleveland's able to run the football. They're still able to throw the football. But, you know, we got to slow down Nick Chubb. We got to force Mayfield to throw some more bad passes and not shoot ourselves in the foot. As well as we have to do a better job of protecting Stephen James. There's been a lot of times that Miles Garrett's able to beat um, whoever he's playing against. So we have to hyper focus on that. We'll see what will happen here in the second half and see who will get to go to the Super Bowl. And here at the beginning of the second half, New York's up by 10. James will start in the shotgun here, takes the snap, handed this ball off to Michael Carter, who has been the bell cow so far throughout this postseason, and he will start with three. Second down and seven here, James in the shotgun, takes the snap. Here is Michael Carter again, the ball carrier, but this defense quickly wraps him up. Third down and five now. James takes the snap, looks to throw here. He's going to go underneath here to Meredith. Meredith is able to break free, and he's able to gain the first down and 10 more. Well, if New York can go up by three scores, that puts a ton of pressure on Baker Mayfield. As Adam Wright will get the call here on first down, but he has blown up. Great tackling there by the Cleveland Browns. Stephen James has felt the pressure of this defense. He's throwing a lot of balls away. It's third down and seven. Play action fake, looks to throw here. Gets this ball to Hopkins. Hopkins able to reel down this pass, and he will get the conversion. 
James looks to throw here on second down. Looking, looking. Felt some rush here, and that ball was wobbly and it's intercepted here. Bad throw, and he wanted Meredith. I think Stephen James just never settled his feet here. Flowers with the INT, and that's giving Cleveland a little life here. I don't know what the hell Stephen James was doing. Cleveland will start their own 22-yard line, Mayfield under center here. Nick Chubb's the lone back as he's going to get the call here, but this defense is able to wrap him up quickly. Jalen Bonds made the first contact as it's second down and two now. Mayfield in the shotgun here. Looks to throw. Going to the outside here is Chubb as Chubb was able to gain some of that lost yardage back in six more. It's third down and six here for Mayfield. He looks to throw here as he needs this conversion. Plenty of time in the pocket. He's going to go underneath here. And that is Landry tackled at midfield for first down. Ball right around midfield here. Three tight ends on the field. Play action fake is midfield as he's getting this ball to Ninjoku, who caught the touchdown. And he will catch this pass for a first down. First down and 10 here at the 35. Mayfield under center here. Takes the snap. Stretch run here by Chubb. Chubb is able to break free and he'll be shoved out of bounds at the 26. It's third down and one. New York looks like they want to send some pressure. Mayfield in an empty look. Takes the snap. New York does send pressure. This ball has to go out quick, and it does. And that pass will gain a first down. As the Cleveland offense enters into the red zone here, Mayfield wants to find the end zone, setting up a bunch formation to his left. Looks to throw here. Plenty of time in the pocket. He gets this ball to Dawson. Dawson breaks off two contact, three tacklers. But thankfully, Bryce Hall is able to tackle him as it's first down and goal here at the two. Mayfield hands this ball off to Chubb. This defense trying to stop him, but Nick Chubb is able to find the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. And now they will be down by a field goal. The New York Jets will start their own 25-yard line, still with the lead here, but they're only up by three. Handing this ball off to Michael Carter to start this drive to gain five, but Carter stays down on the field. That is not good. Michael Carter is out. That means Adam Wright will have to step up. Second down and five here. Adam will get the call here on second down, and he will power for a first down. As the New York Jets are happy to have Carter being okay as it's second down and ten. James looks to throw here, turning to an open uh, Hopkins, and Hopkins down the sideline here. Tackled at the 45. Can't leave him open. Pass midfield now at the 45. Cleveland takes it. Carter's the back because this defense will wrap him up. It's third down and six now. James standing right around midfield as he looks to throw here. Steps up at the pocket. He will find Meredith, and Meredith, his security blanket's able to reel down that pass for a first down. Fresh set of downs now for the New York Jets. Taylor Newberry will get the call here on first down, and Newberry, the rookie running back, will gain three. James, the shotgun here for second down. Looks to throw. Plenty of time. Steps up at the pocket, feeling the rush here as he's going to slide for a first down and more. As we are entering now into the fourth quarter, we have uh, the New York Jets up 17 to 14 here and driving now. James under center here takes a snap. Here's Michael Carter the back as Carter is able to gain 10. And I think they're gonna rule it short of the first down. As the Jets are trying to again make this game by two scores. Takes it, Carter trying to bounce it somewhere. He will gain the first down though. The Jets would like to make this game again by two scores. As they're going to turn to a power formation here, takes snap, play action fake, looks to throw his James as he's getting this ball to Seth Knox, fullback, reception, touchdown New York, we're able to extend our lead here again by two scores, putting more pressure on the Cleveland offense. All eyes are on Baker Mayfield now. He starts this drive in the air here as he's going to go underneath here to Nick Chubb, who will gain six. Can this New York defense, one of the best defenses in our league, hold up and not allow 10 points here in the fourth quarter as Chubb will get the call here, gaining two more. As Mayfield is under center here, here is Chubb the ball carry, and he got tripped up, but I still think he got the first down, and he did. Seven minutes left to go here in the AFC Championship game. Mayfield looks to throw here, going to go to his chuck down, and that pass was blown that away. Second down and 10 now at the 36. Mayfield in the shotgun looks to throw here. He really hasn't been pressured that much as he will again take his check down to Nick Chubb, who's been really the main focus of this offense. You have to wonder, without Tyler Boyd, how much of this offense would have been so much better? 
Mayfield in the shotgun here. Bunch formation to his right. Looks to throw here. Plenty of time in a pocket. No one's getting open here. And he finally, someone does break free. Peoples Jones will rail down that reception for nine. Mayfield will turn to an eye formation here. Chubb is the back. Takes the snap as Chubb will get the call here. And he's going to go nowhere. This is Jalen Smith. Excellent job tackling him for a loss. As it's third down and three now. Mayfield looks to throw, needing this conversion. Going underneath here. This is the Jarvis, the other running back. And he will reel down that pass for a first down. Fresh set of downs now. Less than five minutes to go. But Mayfield needs to push this ball down the field. Though he will continue to take it short as Ninjoku will gain 10 more. First down and 10 here at the 31. Mayfield takes the snap, looks to throw here. Going underneath here, this is their backup tight end, but this defense quickly wraps him up. Second down and three here, three tight ends on the field. Chubb trying to bounce it outside here. This defense trying to quickly wrap him up, but Chubb is able to gain the first down and more. Fresh set of downs here, three receivers set. Mayfield takes the snap. Again, Chubb the ball carrier. New York or Cleveland can still do whatever the heck they want. Second down and inches here as this Cleveland team is trying to wear out this defense a little bit more. Takes it, gonna hang this ball off to Chubb again. This defense wraps him up, but it's still first down and goal. Goal to go now here for the Cleveland offense here. Two, 10 left to go here. Can they run one more play here before the two minute warning? Mayfield under center, dropping back, looks to throw, turning end zone, Ninjoku, touchdown, Cleveland. David Ninjoku, his second touchdown reception of today's action. And that was right before the two minute warning. Two minutes left to go here in the AFC Championship game and New York is up by three. They just gotta take time off this clock. James will start by handing this ball off to Michael Carter as Carter continues to be the focal point of their offense. It's now New York turns to the shotgun here. Carter's the back as he's going to get the call here. Goes up the middle here as he's able to break free. He is playing with an injury right now. And Cleveland has to use their second timeout. Cleveland can still get the ball back, but they've got to force a third down stop. First down and 10 here. Again, Carter going up the middle. And Carter powering his way through for a first down. And that should just about do it here today. And the New York Jets have done it. They are going to their first Super Bowl in a very long time. They have beaten the Cleveland Browns 24 to 21 in a fantastic ball game led by their running game, by their defense. Steven James not shooting his offense in the foot. The Cleveland Browns are going to the big game here. And an excellent job by both Elijah Moore, DeAndre Hopkins, James Bradbury, Michael Carter. They all made the necessary plays to get their team to the Super Bowl. One more victory they need to hold the Lebrani Trophy. But here today, Stephen James had an excellent day. Two touchdowns, one interception. He played fantastically. No complaints there by James. Michael Carter, even suffering through an injury, is still able to get close to 100 rushing yards with a rushing touchdown. Both Hopkins, Sean Samuel, or uh, Stephen Meredith, and Elijah Moore with four receptions. Elijah Moore and DeAndre Hopkins continues to help their offense out. And then defensively, not getting that many. We didn't get sacks. But we got the big early turnover, which allowed us to get the quick lead. Very, very happy with today's performance. And we're heading to the Super Bowl. And after today's action, we did suffer, though, two injuries. I think Quinton Williams is one of them. Let's go check this out real quick. And it is to our backup safety and to our backup linebacker. So not Quinton Williams. Two backups went down. Alex Morse is still injured. Those are two big, in those are two more uh, special teams injuries. But let's sim to the next week. We know we won't have any pro bowlers. I'm not going to check the pro bowl list out. Um, but we'll sim directly to the Super Bowl and see who we're going to be playing against. And in the Super Bowl, it will be the New York Jets versus the Washington football team. A team that we actually have not played against, I don't think really at all through this franchise. I know we didn't play against them this year. We played against them a few years ago. 
Um, but they have really, really put together a very good roster. We'll check them out at the beginning of next episode. But guys, these are the two best teams in both respected conferences. The two number one seeds have reached the Super Bowl as the Washington football team beat the San Francisco 49ers 37 to 34. It's gonna be a very, very interesting matchup. Um, actually, let's go actually quickly look at this team real quick. Uh, let's go check out their roster very quickly. Let's see this Washington team. Because I know they've put together a very good roster as they, Deron Payne is their top playmaker. Jordan Love is their quarterback. He is an X factor for their offense. Antonio Gibson is their running back. They still have Scary Terry with Curtis Samuel. Brett Hughes is their third receiver, who's a superstar. And a tight end, Forrest is their tight end. They have a solid offensive line. We know that this team is really, really good. They got Chase Young. They have a top tier defensive line. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be an interesting ball game. This is a ball game that they don't have that many weaknesses. This is a team that doesn't really have any weaknesses. Maybe besides then their secondary with their cornerback situation. I mean, Kendall Fuller can only cover one guy. But overall, this is going to be a very, very tough matchup. But it's going to be Jordan Love versus Steven James. And that will be next time, everyone. I really do hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like, comment down below what you thought. And let me know down below if you believe that the New York Jets will be winning their first Super Bowl since Super Bowl 2. And I will see you in the next one.